Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, for your Super Bowl entertaining, I prepare chicken enchilada dip and my easy pulled pork. But first, before the game, support local artists at the Davis Family Y. Suzanne Gray is the Arts and Humanities Coordinator here at the Boardman Y, and we're here for the big fine art sale. It's called Five Squared. And Five Squared refers to the size size. of the artwork. Five inch by five inch. And the sale of the artwork will be? $25, five squared. (laughs) Now, where did you come up with this idea? This is really clever. Well, thank you. Um, Five squared is new to this area, but my daughters and I used to go to a show in New York City called Postcards from the Edge. And it was similar, but they were postcard size, four Mm -hmm. by six. Uh, So when, you know, a few years after we'd been there, I said, well, we could just do that out at the Y. And the first year I was a little bit leery. I thought nobody's going to donate art because all of the art is donated to us. Mm -hmm. Um, The first year I think we got 380 pieces. That's quite a bit though. Yes, it was incredible. You know, the next year we got more. Last year we had really a lot more. And it's down a bit this year, but the quality is so good this year. And where do the proceeds go? They go to our Art Reach program, which is... uh, taking art to student to kids out at the rescue mission daybreak we're starting to look at the needle's eye just different areas where kids don't have the chance to have art or go to art classes so we provide teachers and supplies that go out to them now like mediums Mm -hmm. i mean any medium is accepted any any medium and I was gonna say two-dimensional but we have some three-dimensional things as long as you can adhere it to a five inch by five inch piece of something so it could be a canvas it could be you know yes. art paper yes. photographs it could be a anything. photograph it could be we have some textile here we have a weaving um, anything at all anything that you can imagine that can be five inches by five inches we will accept as long as it's family friendly. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. let's keep it clean. It is for the kids. Right. right. And like, look at this. That's like really like dolly That's that's from Australia. That is a piece that came from Australia. It's beautiful. And then, I I mean, this is interesting Isn't that so cool? And that artist is is a photographer. This year he decided he was going to try something different. And that was what he came up with. He has several pieces here as well. I mean, in that needlepoint, that know, is, that that is serious artwork. I, I mean, it's that really is a lo- very time consuming. Somebody painted a portrait of me, and it's I over know. on the other side, so yeah. I'm going to buy that you one. You better for buy sure. that one yes. for sure. But I, I myself, <laughs> because I'm in charge of this, I can't buy anything until after. after really? Even people. if you try to get in the lottery? Well, yeah, yeah, that's a little fishy. Oh, they would be saying, I don't know, I don't know. And then, I mean, so the opening reception and the first day for purchase. February 5th, the opening reception is from 1 to 2.30. Sales start at 2.30. I mean, many people will be coming up during the next week and a half saying, I want to buy this piece or that piece. We do not start selling until 2.30 on February 5th. Is it crazy? It is. I mean, that it must is. be a yes. lot. Are they it running is. around grabbing them? Well, I mean, you know. What is we, it, it, yeah, what we do is we put... There's <laughs> some cool <laughs> stuff there. <laughs> we have the reception and people are eating and there's music. Um, and then we put blue tape on the floor, you know, like back. And people have to stand behind the blue line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. And then at 2.30... They can go and and they don't grab their piece. They grab the little post-it note that's got a number on it. You see each piece has a post-it note next to it. But for those who really, really want a better chance, we sell raffle tickets. So 10 people, if their raffle ticket is chosen, they can go up ahead of time. Only 10. So it's like a lottery. Yes. And you get your chance with first 10. Right. 
But wow, after, I mean, after you're those, it yeah, tough. yeah, after the first ten are gone, some people come in and they <laughs> they they see an artist that they love and they want that piece because mm -hmm. they know the artist. Some people come in and are just they're drawn to something. Something that's speaks just, to them. Yeah. Yes, yes, and I. And think, then you say so you can't overbid it. You can't keep, you know, nope. upping the cost. Twenty-five dollars. Um, if it's an adult piece of work, it's twenty-five dollars. If it's a kid piece, then it's ten dollars. And we have a lot of grandparents and parents who yeah. come in and buy their their children's art. Um, so it's anybody and everybody can participate, no matter how well, young no, or how old. Well, no, at that price point, it is very fair. Well, yes, yes, and uh, so many people, when we start hanging it, say, oh man, could I now donate? And I'm like, yeah. yes, we will take art right up until the last minute. So really, we have through the 5th of February. You do. Um, Probably in the next few days is when the program will be made up, so your name won't be in You'll the program. You'll be in the addendum. <laughs> you will not be in the original program, but right. you will be listed. Right. But uh, your, and your art <laughs> yes. will be shown, and uh, we love that. We, the why is all inclusive. You know, we are about community, mm -hmm. and so all of our art shows are very inclusive to anyone who wants to participate. It doesn't matter if you're a professional or an amateur. It doesn't matter as, as long as you are family friendly. We want to show your art here. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. I am here with Red the Dude. <laughs> from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. And Rudy, you really take Eat, Drink, Celebrate seriously. Yes, we do, Casey. Not only in our regular pub, but we have a banquet room, party room. We seat 25 to 150. We cater for private parties, meetings, banquets, showers, reunions, you name it, we can do it. We got you covered. Private menus, special menus, anything you need, Chef Red, you can work it out for you. I just love the idea that you have the entire room, if you need it, and a private bar. In fact, my uh, <laughs> class reunion from the Academy is going to be held at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. And we thank you guys for coming. Like I said, it's, uh, you know, our motto is eat, drink, celebrate. We like to specialize and help you out and do everything we can to make, you, uh, make your memories last long. Uh, stop by. They will prove it. Here's to the Magic Tree. Salute. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. Celebrate the 41st annual Mahoney Valley St. Patrick's Day Parade on Sunday, March 10th. Enter your group, organization, or marching band at mvstpatrickparade.com. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years. And my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative. Dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Willem is your full-service independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Willem. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Willem, close by with three locations to serve you. We strive to be the best, provide the best food, the best atmosphere, and overall enjoyment of your dinner, lunch, or any kind of gathering you have that involves the upstairs restaurant. Your imagination is your only limitation. The customer understands that they're going to get the best food all the time, and it's great. Give it a try. I'm executive chef Tim King here at the upstairs restaurant. I just love food. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. Shop Ruli Brothers, home of the famous Evening Express.
You are going to love the recipe that I am about to make. I borrowed it from the Beach House Cookbook. My new best friend, Mary Kay Andrews. She was a guest of the Literary Society, part of the Public Library of Youngstown and Mahoney County. And she came into town. She is a New York Times uh, best-selling author, 24 novels. And in a lot of her books, she mentions a recipe or two. And she compiled all of these recipes from herself, her husband, her mother, her friends. And it's really a beautifully written and well done book with lovely pictures and uh, she was really a neat lady and this recipe I'm about to make is her sister-in-law's recipe it's called Jean's chicken enchilada dip and it is so delicious and really easy to make and perfect for entertaining you don't have to keep it hot in fact you must refrigerate it overnight so all the flavors meld together and it's good for tailgating whatever you have coming up and I'm going to share this recipe with you so let's get started and I'll go over the ingredients for this recipe you'll need three large bone-in chicken breasts one pound of cream cheese softened one and a half cups shredded sharp cheddar cheese one and a half tablespoons of chili powder one tablespoon of hot sauce one teaspoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of paprika, and one 10 ounce can of diced tomatoes with green chilies undrained. You'll also need one half cup of fresh cilantro and four green onions chopped. Now I've already prepared the chicken breasts and I followed her recipe to the T. I bought three bone in skin on chicken breasts and I put them in water, boiled them for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then after they cooled, took the skin off, deboned it, and then shredded it. I imagine this would work fine if you were to get a rotisserie from the grocery store, but her recipe calls for doing it this way. So this is already prepared, and it's in the recipe, you'll see it. So now let's get the sauce going. It goes on that wonderful chicken breast. I softened a pound of cream cheese. I bought the low fat, just trying to cut some calories here. So it's already softened, but take your hand mixer and blend it and get it really nice and fluffy before we add the rest of the ingredients. So this will be just a couple minutes. You blend it down and you just want it to get a little more whipped like the consistency maybe of a cake frosting, something like that. So I'll whip this up. So see, it looks almost like cake frosting. Uh, it's delicious. So now it's a little more whipped up, has some air in it. And now we're going to add the sharp cheddar hot sauce. Now, if you don't, like things with a little spice, you can forget this ingredient. I like it, I doubled it. Instead of one a tablespoon, I think I added two, because I like it hot. Also the oregano, the paprika, let's get all that in there. I mean, and these flavors are so nice, they really don't taste like an enchilada. And then the chili powder, get all that in there, cumin, and the minced garlic. So now that all these ingredients are in there, we will blend it together, whip it up, and stir it to combine. So as you can see, it's all blended together nicely. And you really can't even see the shredded cheddar in there because it's all combined. And now we're going to quit with the mixer because we don't want to bruise the chicken much and get it all broken down. And everything else will be adding and stirring by hand. So this is the three shredded chicken breasts. And then to loosen things up because this is quite thick, add the can with tomato and chilies and leave all the juices in. That is very important to do. Also, our cilantro. Hold back just a little bit so you have garnish for when you serve it. And then our green onions. And I chopped these pretty fine so they all mix together nicely. This is quite a mess. It's a beautiful mess. 
And now we'll just stir this and get it all combined thoroughly. And it's such a pretty color. The tomatoes stand out and the green onion and the cilantro and the, oh, it is really a nice presentation. Look at that. It's beautiful and it's cold. Not like that hot buffalo dip that I love so well when people are eating that to a party. But, so now all we have to do is cover this and I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator at least four or five hours overnight and uh, use it the next day. So we'll put this one in and uh, get my other one out that has been refrigerated overnight and we'll sample it. So you have not tasted the uh, no. enchilada recipe, have you? I have not. She was pretty cool, wasn't she? Oh, she, she? was. I have, she was really I've amazing. been looking at, uh, she's got some great ideas for the holidays. Yeah. Her she, Christmas one is great. And you know, she originally was from Ohio, the Cincinnati right. area, and then right. uh, moved, moved to Florida, to Florida then Atlanta, and uh, now she's a Georgia peach. Georgia peach. But she really was cool. And beat her novels, they're a lot of fun. She lives on um, in Atlanta and uh, Tybee Island, you know, where they made yes. the big chill. Yes, I was there with my girlfriends. Oh. And uh, because, of course, it is a enchilada dish, we are going to enjoy, enjoy a Corona. Yes, we are. Okay, I know you didn't like beer, so I didn't give you that much. All right, so cheers. Cheers. Try the Corona. Ooh. Delicious. Now you got to try the dip. Tell me what you think. Mmm, mm, that is excellent. That's good. All those flavors just melt together. Mm. I mean, this will not last long at no, all no. when you serve this. This is a great recipe for the fall with football and... That's you know, what I thought too, for yeah. tailgating and stuff. I mean, it really is delicious. It's called Jean's Chicken Enchilada Dip. Mm. And all you have to do is go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com. Ole! Ole! Cheers! The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. There's a new standard in assisted living. One that combines comfort, luxury, convenience, and the highest quality expert care. Your loved ones can experience it now in Canfield's premier senior living location. The Inn at Ironwood offers fine dining and amenities such as a concierge, salon, housekeeping, and laundry services. And a truly elegant setting in Canfield. Call us for more information or visit us and take a tour. The Inn at Ironwood, Canfield's premier senior living location. R&S Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at R&S Paint. What's bigger than the big football game? Comara's inventory of diamonds during the Big Game Bigger Sale. Saturday, February 2nd and Sunday the 3rd. For two days only, everything on display is 50% off. Plus, the first 100 customers to arrive Sunday have a chance to win up to $1,250 in Comara gift cards in our Big Game Block Pool. Tailgate, cheer, and score bigger savings. 50% off during the Big Game Bigger Sale. February 2nd and 3rd at Comara Jewelers. Get real. 
with Kamara. At Rooley Brothers, the family is in the store. Meats, deli, produce, even the checkout. We work hard to ensure that you get the best products at a personal shopping experience. At Rooley Brothers Markets, our customers are our top priority. Our family is in the store. Today I'm going to make for you my easy pulled pork. I use a crock pot. It's very easy, few ingredients, and everybody loves it. The best part about pulled pork is you can eat it any time of year. It's great in the summer, it's wonderful if you tailgate, great for Super Bowl, and it's an easy dish in the spring. So let's get going. For this recipe, you'll need one cup of Casey's Dry Rub. My recipe will be attached to this recipe online. Three cooking onions thinly sliced, one 14 ounce can of chicken broth, one five to seven pound bone-in pork shoulder, also known as pork butt, and one to two cups of your favorite barbecue sauce. Start by putting your crock pot on low temperature. And then take your onions and line the bottom of the crock pot and then just add the can of chicken broth on top of that. Now we'll take my dry rub. So versatile, I usually make a big batch of this and then I use it for chicken breast, but in this case, I'm going to rub this all over my pork shoulder. And make sure you evenly distribute that. Now make sure you get the bone in, because that adds a lot of flavor. After it's all covered, this is kind of a messy job. <laughs> I put this in with the fat side up. So it runs down and flavors the pork butt. And then about halfway through the cooking time, I flip it and put the fat side on the bottom. Upside down, I'll put this in. It's already on low. I put the lid in and I will leave this for eight to 10 hours. If you're in a bit of a hurry and you have six to eight hours, you can set your crock pot on high and it'll be done that much sooner. Well, it has been eight hours and this pork butt is ready to be turned into pulled pork. The house smells amazing. So first we'll start by removing it and put it on a cutting board. Remember that layer of fat that was along the bottom of the pork shoulder? Well, it is now gone. We'll just discard that. Oop, this gets a little messy. And we will remove the bone. And then we will just take two forks and start to shred the pork into bite-sized pieces. And you know what pulled pork should look like. So we will just go through this whole pork butt and get this ready to eat. So what I like to do is take these wonderful juices that have collected and run them through this fine mesh strainer. And then you just get rid of all those onions and all those wonderful flavorings. And then I'm going to add this pork back into the crock pot. And I don't like it with a lot of barbecue sauce, but I do like it a little more moist than this. But now let's put the crock pot on warm. And now we will add a little bit of my guy guy's barbecue sauce. I like it spicy. We'll start with about a cup. And I will just pour this in and mix that with the pulled pork. And to loosen it up a little bit, this is where the excess juice comes in. And I'll just take about an equal amount and that helps distribute the barbecue sauce. And then we'll just mix that up thoroughly and this will be perfect. Now it is time to enjoy this pulled pork. I like the smaller slider size, smaller portions, and Schwabels is now making a uh, really nice slider bun. And here's how I like to assemble my pulled pork. I put a nice layer on the bottom, 
And then I like a little bit of coleslaw right on top of that. Always want the crunch. And top it off with a nice slice of dill pickle. So let's see how I did. Mm. This is delicious. Heaven on a bun. I love this with the coleslaw and the pickle. Mm. You are going to love this. I make this all the time. It is a true crowd pleaser. And the best pairing, I think, is cider. It really cuts through a lot of the different spices and Stella Etois is making a really nice one right now. Not super sweet, but it's a real palate cleanser after all the spices from the pulled pork. Mm. Just delicious. Go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com for the complete recipe for my pulled pork. You are going to love it. It is going to be your go-to favorite and you can thank me later. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.